<laughs> All right, come on in, let's do it one more time. Right, so one of the creative tasks we set was to create a map of your ideal running route through London. All the youngers were given a run to the beat training programme. At first, it's, it was quite daunting looking at all these rigorous training schedules and miles that you've got to do, but once you, you get into it, it's really helpful. OK, uh, my route that I chose is from 1948 in Shoreditch along to Soho. On my runs, I use Nike Plus. It's not kind of complicated. There's no plugging it in and stuff. It's just there on your phone and you just go straight away. I like running from 1948 because you kind of go through all these different areas. You see so many people. It's such a diverse area. You might see people in suits coming out of offices or people with skinny jeans and Converse. You hit Soho and you've got all the trainer shops. That's where I am most of the time. So I'm a big kind of like trainer fan. I really like running along the side of Victoria Park. Uh, it's nice to run next to water, especially when it's raining. It can be quite atmospheric. I run a lot in Alexandra Palace. I know it's hilly and stuff, and sometimes I die up the hills, but it's a good environment. Best of all, it's the amazing view at the end. Just love it. The heat made a big a big difference, I think, but I had my guys here, so no, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was a really good run. It was particularly good when I saw the person at mile 11 that was passed out in his own sick. When I hit 10 miles, my aim was to just keep on pushing and pushing. My legs were on fire, but I knew I could do it. When it first started, I was like, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? But um, reaching the finish line, I think, was like, key moment of, in my whole life. What's next? I don't know, maybe Paris half next year, and then Berlin Marathon. Ice bath for as long as physically possible, nap for as long as I can, and come to random crew on Tuesday and do it all again. At first, I thought that I could never do 13 miles, but then it showed me that if you keep on working at something, then you can get better and get better and actually do it. So to me, like nothing's impossible now. Hard work makes a real person. My name is Charlie Dart, and I'm the fan of Random Crew. And all I can say is I'm very, very proud of all of your efforts. You're going to say the words away, away, away. With some meaning and some feeling, because you just ran 13 miles. One, two, three. Away, away, away. One, two, three. Away.